Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Two Mishti's Mishti Talk. And we are up to the last episode of 2019. Can you believe it? How crazy fast has this year gone, honestly. I yeah. um, just can't get over that. It's Christmas around the corner. It's I know. insane. So we're just going to be recapping on the year that has gone and just sort of touching base on, you know, just some of the goals we had set for ourselves, both personally and professionally, and um, yeah, just see how we're tracking. Okay. Yes. Do you want to go first? <laughs> oh, put me on the spot, Indira. Yes, go for it. <laughs> so that's for my first segment, um, sort of touching on that. It was more about, I guess, doing a bit of a clean out um, of your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounded harsh about you know dropping the dead weight, but I think yeah. yeah, but I think it was more about sort of prioritizing you know your time and um, having a more focused approach you know with your goals and things like that. So I think I have really put a big emphasis on that this year and felt that my energy levels were directed in areas that um, you know that I wanted to invest my time in and I've seen the results like from that in terms of projects that have come my way, expanding my businesses and um, I've just been able to juggle a lot more, more efficiently and effectively. And I guess overall, I just feel like a lot lighter, you know? Um, and you know, it's just been a good um, quality interactions with people as well, people who, you know, I want to catch up with. Not I wouldn't say want to, but you know, I haven't seen them in some time because, you know, we've been working and, and whatnot, but it's just been a good quality interaction the time that we have spent, um, you know, with those um, people. So I think overall, I think we have sort of like hit the goal in terms of personal growth and um, professionally, but also, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. Of course. It's never yeah, finished. it never stops. Yes. Yeah, never stops. So yeah, what about you? Indira? Well, I think out of all the goals, that's one of the goals that I actually kept going from January till today was um, dropping the dead weight. Yeah. Yes. And it did sound like we sounded really harsh in the beginning, but it's made a huge difference. I've I learned how to prioritize only my family and my very, very close friends in a circle. I have eliminated people who are time wasters or who are not going to add value to my life. I'm going to don't go to unnecessary parties or events or anything like that because that's not productive for me. Like that's I might right. sound like a cruel person by no, saying that. No, it's not that. cruel, but it's about self care, right? Exactly. You're prioritizing yes, yourself. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not going to waste my time going, you know, being fake and going, ah, oh, like you know, hi and all of that, you know amongst a crowd of people you know when sometimes you're in a crowd of people but you actually feel alone yes yes so yes. i stopped doing that so that i don't feel that way anymore and it's more about self-care and put a lot of emphasis into that so that's been really really good for me and it makes such a big difference oh, it does, in, yeah. in the way you know um how you feel like yeah. from the inside you know when you're with someone mm. and you walk away after catching up with them or having you know some interaction with them, you should feel more energized exactly. and positive, yeah. and not feel drained yes. by that person. There's some people that I just all they do is complain or they just like doom and gloom all the time, and that energy does affect you. Like, doesn't matter what people say, people's vibes and energy oh, it, so does yeah, of it does rub Absolutely, yeah. it does. Yeah, it Look, does. Everyone has problems. It's not that to say you know you're not um, you know dealing with you know something, everyone but there are people is. who just constantly fixate on that yes and it's like okay so what are you doing about it yeah. to fix those exactly or rectify those issues yeah. in your life yeah. and you know it's like what well, do you want me to just wave a magic wand <laughs> exactly know? yeah and, and even so, if you do make wave a magic wand they'll come back to you the next week with the same, the same complaints thing. and the same stories yeah and that does rub off on you and you know how they say you are an average of the five closest people you hang out with that's really true so like even if one out of the five people are idiotic like that then that is really going to affect you. It doesn't matter what you say, oh no, it doesn't really affect me, it doesn't influence me, it does. Uh, yeah, with those people, it's just like talking to a brick wall because you constantly are uh, discussing the same thing over and over again, you know, six months, 12 months down the track and it's just like, how much of that can you really, um, you know, take? Mm. Yeah. So I've definitely felt lighter by getting rid of all that negativity out of my life. So that's been one of the goals that I have maintained from January till December constantly. And I've always made like sure that, hey, 
whatever I'm about to do is going to be productive for me and productive for the other person as that's well. Right. That's and right. And it's going to be meaningful for both. Like, exactly. You know, it doesn't have to be like business productivity, like making no, money or whatever, no. but it has to be good for your health and your soul and your mind that's and right. your body, whatever it is. Like yeah. I said, it has to be value add yes. both ways. Yeah, that's right. Really. Yeah. Like not just one person sucking your energy and no. you're not kind of like, not wanting to get anything out of it, but not growing, um, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, through the interactions, you know, with that, with that person. Mm. And I think being in from our background, you know, we've always been, I wouldn't say brought up, but like, you know, it's like you have to have the etiquette where you, know, you have to turn up to certain things yeah. and, you know, like it, it's rude otherwise. You I can't say no and all of that. Yeah, no, stuff, like yeah. it's like people pleasing. No. Yeah. You know, it's like you should please yourself first. Yeah. That's and right. then everyone else like later definitely yeah. yeah so and that's it's hard to do like that's hard to do yeah. and it's a process like we said right and it's going to be a constant a constant yeah because you constantly have to filter out the people unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> people and things as well not, it's yeah. not just a, yeah 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 but it's also part of like i said it's part of your self um right. you know, your personal growth you know what i mean if you want to succeed in all aspects like of your life it's, it just needs to be. Needs it's to very, be done. it's very lonely up the top, isn't it? I wouldn't say so. Oh, no, lonely, I, but it, it, like it's less people up there than yeah, when it you're is, look, Your time is precious, yes. and it, you know, as like this year, as twelve months, how quickly has it gone by? It's too fast. How quickly has it gone by? And you just don't know how long you know moments you have with certain people. So do you really want to, you know, waste that time in just you know with acquaintances or people who are just. You know, yeah, right. So that that's kind of like what it's what it's about. And there've been yeah, there've been certain close friends we haven't had a chance to, no. um, you know, catch up with as often as I would like this year as well, just because, you know, certain goals work has been you know a priority, and it's like you know not rude, but you know if I do make time for those people again, it's like it's the quality of the time that you spend. Exactly. Um, yeah. 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 And I would say like in you know, both fronts, professionally, it has how much has it helped? You exactly. know to you know get that step like further to your to your goals exactly definitely yeah. so that's one of our goals tick we've tick, both achieved yeah. it yes yeah how about some of the other ones <laughs> <laughs> well it's a personal growth is a big one from yeah, like this and that sort of flows on to you know if you feel good in the inside and there's nothing that you can't accomplish yeah you know what I mean you have a more focused approach in everything that you do and you're more efficient and you're just not sitting here just kind of scathing through through life yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. another big thing I've been doing like all throughout the year has just been decluttering and it does tie in with that goal like a lot of yeah. shedding but like decluttering a lot of material things so throwing out things that don't like add value to my life and also like you know things basic things such as like cleaning up your wardrobe or cleaning up your desktop or your you know your emails and stuff makes a huge difference it does it? it's something so small but yeah. in, actually, in the scale of things yeah. you, again you just feel a little bit Cleaner. Know, cleaner and lighter and not so I guess um, cluttered in your in your head, head as well, as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I would I'm really guilty of like holding on to things mm. like you know from the past but it's like oh that whole sentimental value and, and whatnot yeah. and now it's like okay like in the bin oh not in the bin but you know you can donate those like exactly. those things to um, people recycle mm. and, and whatnot but yeah it, that definitely makes a huge 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 difference because so. when everything is clean and organized you feel clean oh. and organized as well and it motivates you whereas if you know you go home and your wardrobes and like you open your wardrobe and everything falls on top of you it's like, i cannot deal oh, i can't yeah I cannot it's very deal. stressful as well oh my yeah. god yeah so i have to say i mean i'm a bit of a neat freak but my mm. partner he's not messy but he does tend to leave things around, around. and i'm like but my tongue breathe <laughs> You know, so I'm like, for the, the life of God, just can you just put your things where they belong, you know, so you don't feel like a hot mess when you're, yeah, you know, exactly. around the house. Well, yeah. I'm going to hate me for saying that, but nice. that should be on his um, New Year's resolution list yeah. to, yeah. you know, yeah, just little, you know, just little things every day just makes a, like, a big, big difference. Mm. So I think um, we should be proud of ourselves for I think so. things sticking to our goals. I mean, personal growth, it's not an easy no. thing to hit. And um, I think we, as people like today, I feel like we have definitely um, elevated, you know, we're vibrating at like a, a higher level. Yeah, yeah definitely. For sure. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. 
Cheers, cheers to us. Oh, I'm almost finished my piccolo, but <laughs> time cheers. for a top up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and let us know about your journey of 2019. If you hit your goals or where you're at, we would love to hear from you.